The European Council for Nuclear Research, CERN, which is known for its groundbreaking work in particle physics, is at the cutting edge of scientific progress. The famous particle physics lab recently shared a very unusual discovery from its Large Hadron Collider that could completely change how we think about the universe. Scientists think that these strange discoveries could mean that there is alien life in a different reality. Experts are very excited about and talking a lot about this revolutionary idea. Could this amazing discovery change the way we think about the universe? And if this find is proven to be true, what deep insights will it give us into the nature of reality? Let's look into the new research that was just released and see why scientists at CERN are finally speaking out about this scary new discovery that could change everything we know. CERN stands for the European Council for Nuclear Research. Since its founding in the mid-1950s, the organization has been known for its risky trials. Many times it has been in the news for the wrong reasons. Its experiments have caused people to worry about the creation of black holes, holes in our world, and other dangers. Building the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, was one of CERN's most famous and controversial projects. This is the biggest particle accelerator in the world, the Large Hadron Collider. It became operational on September 10, 2008, and is still the newest part of CERN's accelerator complex. It's made up of more than 27 kilometers of superconducting magnets and a bunch of devices that speed up particles as they move through it. It costs more than $4.5 billion for CERN to make this amazing thing. Many people would say that this money was well spent because the LHC has led to some of the most important findings in the last few decades, like the discovery of the Higgs boson and many other particles that were not known before. Different particles can be sped around the loop by this huge machine until they reach speeds close to light speed and finish more than 11,000 laps per second. A set of very strong electromagnets inside the LHC created a magnetic field inside the accelerator that is almost a thousand times stronger than the field around the Earth. Some people are worried about what will happen to nearby technology and the Earth's magnetic field when such a strong field is created. When these particles reach their top speed, which is 99.9999991 times the speed of light, particles moving in opposite directions have to crash into each other very hard, releasing a huge amount of energy and a wide range of particles. When particles hit each other, they send out a stream of particles in all directions. Most of these particles only last a few hundredths of a second before they disappear. Researchers can find new particles by changing where the particles come from. Ultra-sensitive monitors that were specially made for this flurry are put around the crash sites to record all the information from each one. It takes a lot of time and work to go through all of this info, which builds up quickly. The LHC's experiments create more than 15 petabytes of raw data every year from these collisions. The experts have to carefully sort through this data to get to the data they need. The LHC reached a major milestone in 2017 when it stored more than 200 petabytes of data forever in its tape libraries. To give you an idea of how much data this is, one petabyte is about 250,000 movies. But what do they really want to find in all of this information? They found that a certain kind of quark was doing something. Physicists say that quarks come in different types because they are the building blocks of matter. Some of these types of quarks are very unstable and break down into other particles very quickly. Scientists were interested in the beauty quark because it had an unusual breakdown pattern that didn't match what they thought it would happen based on the normal model. The beauty quark has an average lifetime of 1.2 trillionths of a second. They think that when a beauty quark breaks down, it will be affected by the weak force and change into a group of lighter particles called leptons. One of these will be an electron or a muon with an equal chance of being either. But the LHC data showed that these quarks only turned into muons 70% of the time. The other 70% of the time, they turned into electrons. This difference could only exist if a type of particle that hasn't been seen before is involved. Because of this, some scientists think that a new kind of physics may be at work. A new particle-carrying force would mean a whole new branch of physics that could add to the current model and clear up a lot of problems. The idea of new physics. The standard model theory tells us the most about how the strange world of particles works. The standard model is a scientific theory that perfectly explains everything we know about the building blocks of the physical world. To make things even more amazing, scientists know that this model is still not finished, even though it is very accurate. The electromagnetic force, the strong force, 
and the weak force are the only forces that the normal model talks about. At this point, neither the force of gravity nor dark matter, which makes up most of the universe's matter, can be described or explained. In recent tests, researchers found a problem with the data they were looking at that was different from what is known about the normal way of doing things. Because the LHC produces so much data, it's not unusual to find results that don't fit into this scheme. However, this time something caught scientists' attention, and they knew they needed to do more research to find out what this new event was. What could this brand new force be that would explain this strange discovery? The experts propose that there is a new basic particle which they call Z prime and which carries force. Researchers think this force would interact differently with electrons and muons, but for now we don't know how strong its interactions are with standard model particles. This force is probably very weak because there have been no signs of it until now. If scientists found new particles that carry forces, it would be the biggest step forward in physics in 10 years. Physicists think that if this find is proven to be real, it will help to solve long-standing mysteries of the universe and make sense of old questions like what dark matter is and what the Higgs boson does now. Some scientists think that this undiscovered force could help physics reach one of its most important goals in the last hundred years, bringing together all of the main forces of nature. This is what Elon Musk has to say. Between 1998 and 2008, CERN built the Large Hadron Accelerator, which is the biggest and most powerful particle accelerator ever made. This process was helped by over 10,000 scientists from over 100 different countries and hundreds of schools and labs. It is about 175 meters below ground and is in a 27-kilometer-long tunnel that runs through the border between France and Switzerland near Geneva. Not only that, in the Large Hadron Collider's first collision, the energy of each beam was 3.5 tera-electron volts which is about four times the previous world record. Once the LHC was made even stronger, the energy hit 6.5 tera electron volts per beam. Musk said that proton beam impacts are what the Large Hadron Collider does best. One more thing it can do is speed up lead ion beams. The crashes between protons and lead usually happen for one month every year. It is the main goal of scientists to try the predictions of several particle physics theories with the Large Hadron Collider. It is important to remember that scientists are trying the Higgs boson's properties and looking for the large group of new particles that subatomic particle theories say should exist. In the same way that the electromagnetic force holds atoms and molecules together, hadrons are made up of quarks that are held together by a strong force. Neutrons and protons are two examples that most people understand. The pion and kaon mesons are among them. They were found for the first time in tests with cosmic rays in the late 1940s and early 1950s. It is possible for two beams of particles that are at odds with each other to meet at the LHC. Higgs boson. The Higgs boson is thought to be a basic particle that is linked to the Higgs field. It's the quantum activity of this field which is like looking at waves in the water. The boson is like a brand new animal zoo animal. In other words, it doesn't have the quantum properties of basic matter or the carriers of quantum interactions like the weak force, electromagnetic force, or nuclear interactions. The Higgs boson was discovered at the Large Hadron Collider. This was a big discovery that was made at the same time by the two largest multi-purpose experiments, ATLAS and CMS. It was made public at CERN on July 4, 2012. It was first found in two very rare decay channels that gave the clearest signal. Decay into a pair of photons, which required a completely quantum virtual process, and direct decay into a pair of Z bosons, which are the carriers of the neutral weak interaction. At the time, the discovery of the Higgs boson set the standard model. However, scientists continued to look for this mysterious particle. The proof of Higgs decay was one of the most important discoveries since 2012. At the time, CERN said that more study would be done on this elusive particle during the LHC's third cycle, especially after the high luminosity upgrade is finished in 2029. This will make it possible for the LHC to have more collisions, which will give scientists a better chance to find strange physics, like events that don't fit into the standard model. CERN thinks that the accelerator will make 15 million of these particles every year when it is rebuilt. This is like how the LHC made 3 million Higgs bosons in 2017. This could help us figure out the different types of Higgs bosons.
Theories that go beyond the standard model of particle physics predict that there could be up to five different types of Higgs bosons, some of which may not be made as often as the basic Higgs. Scientists have strong evidence of a magnetic Higgs boson even before the changes. What's the big deal with the Higgs boson, though? In the early moments after the world was created, this Higgs field was very important and necessary. It tells us exactly what kind of void there is in our space-time. We know that it is what makes matter and interactions possible, as well as how all known basic particles get their mass. There would be no chemical elements, stars, or life in the universe without the Higgs field, and by extension, the Higgs boson. What do you think of the name God particle for the Higgs boson? After it was found, the Higgs boson was given the name the God particle by the media. Most people think that the term came from Leon Lederman, a Nobel Prize winning scientist who, in a fit of rage, called the Higgs boson the goddamn particle because it was so hard to find. According to Business Insider, Lederman wanted the title of his book about the Higgs boson to be the goddamn particle, but the publishers didn't agree, so they changed it to the God particle. This started a debate between physicists about the particle and religion that is still going on today. Still, it's hard to overstate how important the Higgs boson and field are. According to this theory, only particles would have mass, which means there would be no stars, planets, or people, which may help explain its over-the-top name. Scientists are still studying the Higgs boson for two reasons, besides the need to accurately describe the new particle. First, they want to know how the empty space we live in came to be in the early universe. Second, they want to know how to keep this empty space steady. The Higgs field is unique because it sends mean vacuum potential energy that is not zero to the real vacuum. For the most part, this is what makes our universe unique. Scientists believe that the electromagnetic force, which has an endless range, and the weak force, which has a very small range, are caused by changing the form of the energy potential. So that they can do this, Scientists need to make pairs of Higgs bosons and study how these bosons interact with each other. Finding the answer to the important question of how all other basic particles get their mass was helped by the Higgs boson. We still don't know what its size is, though. Any symmetry in the theory doesn't protect this mass and makes it unstable without meaning to. Changes in quantum mechanics could make the physical void itself less stable. Scientists are still looking for extra Higgs boson-like particles that would show the presence of the new physics needed to fix the Higgs boson mass. Luckily, these timescales are much longer than the known lifetime of the universe. All of these things make it more important to study a lot more data and, if possible, get access to more collider energy. This is why, after 10 years, hundreds of experts from around the world are still working on the project. The Higgs boson was first thought of in 1964, and was finally found in 2012. People who are interested in science have asked why it took so long. This is because the Higgs boson is very heavy and very fragile. Scientists had to focus a lot of energy into a small space in order to make such a huge particle. They needed a collision with a lot of energy. Higgs particles break apart in many different ways after they are created, and only a small number can be picked out from the noise. They made the biggest and trickiest devices to find these particles. Then, to find a Higgs boson signal, they looked at hundreds of billions of collisions between protons. But will the projects and results of CERN help us find big things? What will happen to us in the end? There are three main ideas that conspiracy theories have about what CERN is doing. Some people have blamed CERN for the worst ideas, including the idea that the group is trying to open a portal to hell. Some people think that CERN's tests with subatomic particles traveling at the speed of light will help people get to the other side of the final fire. CERN, on the other hand, says that making antimatter is a way to learn more about matter and mass. According to Wikipedia, antimatter is made up of subatomic particles that have the negative electric charge of matter. People who believe in the Big Bang Theory think that antimatter formed when the world first started and should be represented in the same way as matter. But antimatter is not found very often. The Mandela Effect is the focus of the second CERN plot theory. The Mandela Effect is when a lot of people remember something from the past differently than how it really happened. Some people who believe in conspiracies think that CERN's particle studies will cause big changes in our reality and send Earth into a different world, which would have a Mandela Effect on a large scale. Finally, some people who believe in conspiracies believe that human sacrifices happen at the CERN building. In 2016, 
a video was said to have been shared online that showed ritual sacrifices happening at CERN. The video was said to show several people in hoods walking around the CERN grounds. People thought the tape showed people in masks stabbing a little girl in the chest. The Guardian says that an official for CERN quickly shot down the story, saying that the ritual was actually staged as part of a big joke. There is still no answer to the question of whether a police investigation took place after that. It's not a surprise that CERN has been the subject of conspiracy ideas for a long time, so it shouldn't have been a surprise that conspiracy ideas would start to spread online on July 5, 2022, when scientists finally started working again after three years of repairs and improvements. Although this news may disappoint science buffs, it is clear that CERN does not want to construct a portal to hell, the future, or any other world. Proton beams keep zipping around the 27-kilometer circle of the world's biggest particle collider, which is more than 300 feet below. Ghost particles have been found. Its ability to smash particles together at very high energies has let people see into the farthest reaches of physics for almost 10 years. The LHC's forward search experiment detector has found something unexpected. It has recognized 153 neutrino interactions with great accuracy, marking the first time that high-energy neutrinos produced by a particle collider have been found. Scientists may be able to learn more about the universe's very strong neutrino interactions and how stars burn up and explode into supernova by reaching this important milestone in particle physics. Neutrinos are very small subatomic particles that can be found almost everywhere. Neutrinos are made when atomic nuclei come together or split apart, Radioactive decay in Earth's particle accelerators and nuclear reactors, as well as the natural radiation of bananas and potassium, are some of the things that make them. But these particles, which have no mass or charge, are the most powerful cosmic ghosts. Once they are made, they don't usually associate with matter. Neutrinos move through every square centimeter of our bodies about 100 billion times every second, but they are so faint that we can't feel them. Due to this mystery quality, they were called ghost particles, and scientists have been looking for them ever since 1956, when they were first seen zipping out of a nuclear reactor. In 2021, physicists found the signatures of six neutrinos, but it took them another two years to gather enough proof to show that these mysterious particles were real. The project will keep gathering information until the end of 2025, according to James Boyd, a particle physicist at CERN and co-spokesman for Phaser. Ghost particles can teach us about deep space in ways that other methods cannot. These extremely high-energy neutrinos at the LHC are vital for understanding appealing particle astrophysics findings. Scientists hope to find more of these ghost neutrinos and solve physics riddles we haven't looked into yet. A lot of scientists are very excited to see what CERN finds next and what those finds will mean for the future of science. Thanks for seeing another episode. Click on the video on your screen to see more like this one that will blow your mind.